Hello everybody, I'm here with a uh, proper update for my legitimate world. Yeah, legitimate, god damn it. Uh, my village world. Okay, let's speak correctly here. Oh, where am I? Oh. Okay, this is just the uh, storage or thingamabobber station for the general store. It's a nice glowstone flooring. But that's not what this update is really about. Uh, as I mentioned in that really quick one... Uh, oh, hold on, I'm going to turn this fan off here. And uh, punch this pig. No. Uh, this is... This is good. I've mainly been playing on Peaceful, so I don't have any... Uh, Weaponry ready, but uh, the main gist is, uh, as I said in the uh, quick update video, I'm kind of deciding to turn this into a uh, more uh, non semi non linear uh, turn on that speaker uh, semi non linear adventure map instead of just uh, just an RP sort of thing. RP build, whatever. Ooh! I should probably put this away. I'm kind of in this uh, wooden building. Once it's once it's a uh, safe outside, I'll uh, hop out and give a viewing of what this building is. Yeah. I have to say, I'm pretty glad that Notch hasn't implemented uh, something that makes uh, wooden things burn down when something that's on fire gets near them. Well, a mob that's on fire. Grace. Good zombie, you're interrupting my video. Just fucking die. Okay. Well, fa fairly unfinished, I'd say. This is the... Uh, Holy Church of Notch. Original, isn't it? <laughs> Under construction, I still haven't built any of the pews or... The frontal area there. This isn't supposed to be here. It's a placeholder block. But, well, like I said, I'm not going to show off everything new in the world because I want some things to be a surprise for it. But, uh, in addition to building a lot of stuff and importing some schematics, which, uh, on the release, I will credit the person who made the schematics. I'm mainly using the schematics to, you know, have something in here that looks aesthetic. I can't speak. Damn it. Aesthetically pleasing. On the map, instead of my usual build style of function over form. Damn it. Baron. I don't think I've really done anything with any of these mines back here. Huh, flooded mine. Fallout 3 style, uh, here, location name, huh. But yeah, I imported some schematics. Darn, darn, I can't... This is an update full of fail. I imported some schematics and put them around the area to provide some, uh, more interesting locations and uh, you know that sort of thing. Of course, uh, the schematics I got from a pack created by an author who uh, who states directly in the pack that uh, all he requires is credit on the map. So I'll be giving that out when it's released. And, um... Uh, what else? What else? Da -da -da -da. Okay, it's also... I can't make any jumps today. It's also incorporating a few new ideas. Well, not necessarily new, I'd say. 
probably, but something I haven't really done before personally. And uh, quite a bit of uh, storyline thrown in. Unfortunately, currently, the only ways to do storyline are post it on a thousand signs or have a separate note, a text file. And I, ri I really wish grass didn't grow on block sets you placed a minecart track down on. Because this is going to cause trouble for my transport system in this regard, since I've seen pigs spawn on it before. And they tend to mess with powered minecarts, which is what all this uh, relies on. And with saying that, I've completely thrown myself off my train of thought. Hmm. I guess you're wondering, I've been doing this for a lot of trees just to prevent... Try to prevent mobs from spawning in them, because, uh... You know, this is the village. The village is supposed to be at least somewhat safe, despite the uh, ominous warnings of creeper attacks and other such things. Uh, fuck. I still completely lost my train of thought as to what I was talking about earlier. But. Oh, yeah. I think Notch, at some point, said that he was planning on uh, making it possible to store uh, text in books or something, or maybe that's just speculation. Ah, oh, that's just a fireplace. <laughs> I was getting worried there. I mean, this very, uh, very large wooden building that's... Well, as you saw in an earlier update, I built myself, and it's probably the most aesthetically pleasing thing I've ever built. Which isn't saying much. But. Mm, yeah, I'd really like the ability to, uh, you know, just put text in uh, one of the book items and uh, have that be used as the, the uh, storyline driver, you know, backstory and all that. Because uh, it, it just kind of breaks the immersion if you have to tab out to uh, look at an external TXT file or doc if anybody ever uses that. I suppose it would be docx because most people with Office have wasted their money and bought Office 2007 or later. I suppose I can show that I, I have uh, more or less redone the bottom floors of most of the shops. So it's, you know, an, an actual floor instead of just a slight depression in the ground. Hmm, I, I suppose I can go over a couple other plans. Uh, well, any of the paintings laying around town I'm probably going to get rid of. Because I've been thinking about editing my custom painterly pack to uh, replace the paintings with, uh, you know, context-specific pictures. Like, you know, like depicting a particular component of a scene in an area that I'd like to uh, highlight for the players. Like, uh... Well, the general theme about of this as of uh, right now is going to be something like very, very downtrodden and... Why am I getting frame rate lag here? I got rid of all the uh, redstone nonsense here because it was just a big fucking waste of space, but it really shouldn't be killing the frame rate like it was. Then again, it's not running as smoothly as it should be anyways. You usually get more than 25 to 30 frames per second while recording in this setup, for Minecraft at least. Yeah. 
the general feeling behind the uh, world is supposed to be one of, uh, you know, very downtrodden. Things are going wrong everywhere for everybody. Lots of, uh, you know, tragedies are occurring. And, uh, being able to visually express that with, in more ways than just building a couple buildings that are, you know, broken down, aka a couple blocks broken out of them, and uh, throwing up signs would be, I th I'd say, would certainly add to the uh, atmosphere. That's a lot of coal. And, uh,. <clears throat> I suppose that's the main gist of it, in case anyone's wondering. I think this is <laughs> the result of my world corrupting at some point and creating some crazy uh, chunk errors. Like, all along this line for... I don't even know how long. It does this, like... Uh, hold on. I can move out and uh, show a bit more of it. But all along this general line, there's... Uh, there's really sharp contrast between uh, components of uh, some sort of uh, terrain and the apparently pre-existing one, if my phrasing of all this makes any sense at all. Probably doesn't. And that floating island that something has happened to. <sighs> so mainly that sort of thing is uh, the biggest contributor to uh, getting dark here. That's not good. Biggest contributor to uh, the map not being even remotely close to being released yet. Despite uh, planning to, re to have released it a while ago. Just remembered I need to move the spawn to that thing over there. So yeah. I think that's probably going to be about it for this update. Maybe. Since, uh... Well, that's really all I'm willing to show off right now. Like I said, I want most of the most of the uh, additions to the world to remain fairly secret. You know, something that the player is supposed to discover themselves instead of you know what it did in most of the previous updates and just show everything off. So um, that that'll be it for this, and uh, see you in the next update.